Arc Block's ABT token's been pumping like crazy lately, something like 4,000 to 5,000 percent in the last six to seven months. So yeah, that's absolutely nuts. And there's no way I couldn't look into it and not make a video for you guys about it. So here we are. I did quite a bit of research on it, and honestly, you guys will probably want to wait and watch through the end of the video before you make your decisions on buying it because there are some strange things going on here. Uh, I do like what the project is aiming for, but um, well, we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, so what we're going to be looking at are the socials, what the heck this project is, uh, talking about the tokenomics of it, how the coin's been performing. We'll look at GitHub compared to some other tokens as well, and then take a look at uh, some mix match things that I want to want to bring up at the end. And as we move right along, if you guys don't mind, hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and subscribing if you want more content like this. Here we have the ArcBlock website, arcblock.io. And it's a pretty clean website, to be honest. It's, it does look well made. Uh, you can kind of get a, a feel for what ArcBlock is about. If you guys haven't heard of the project, probably the easiest way to describe ArcBlock is a, an application, a crypto application to help you build applications, dApps, things like that on blockchain. Now they've got NFT Studio, they've got, and I think this is gonna be one of their big sellers here, what I, I believe is called the AI Genie, uh, which is, really a lot like chat GPT, it seems like to me, but uh, it, it actually uses AI, leverages AI to code for you so that you can enter certain things, whatever you want it to do, it'll put the code out uh, so you don't have to know the language, as far as I can tell. We've got Creator Studios, a few more things here. Blocklets are a big thing in, um, in ArcBlock here, so basically blocklets are little pieces of code or, or dApps or whatever you wanna picture it as, and you can actually trade those, sell those on a marketplace. Uh, it looks like ArcBlock has made a few of their own that you can use. Uh, they do, they're heavily into Web3. We've got the AI kit here, a uh, little bit of uh, some other stuff here, and they are kind of into cloud computing as well. One of the bigger things that I have seen them kind of pushing is the DID wallet, the digital identity wallet here. And it looks like, uh, as far as I know, that that's something they're still working on. I, I think you can actually get the wallet, but the digital identity part of the chain is still kind of in the works. And somehow it, it ties your digital identity to tokens, which is kind of an interesting concept, but I'm not sure that it's really been implemented in anything quite yet. And jumping over to their X account here at arcblock underscore IO. Arcblock does seem to be fairly active, but what they're posting really isn't striking me as, as anything stand out. Like, like nothing is, is that great here. Uh, some of these posts I, I wouldn't really want to see from a crypto that I'm investing in. Um, let's see here. I mean, this, this talks, uh, Robert Mao is their CEO and founder. Uh, what else here? I mean, we've got some recaps, things like that, but there's a lot of other things that are here that just to me feel like feeler or excuse me, filler on the, the, uh, X account here. Now that, that does happen with a lot of accounts, I guess, but to me, nothing, nothing really stands out as that great here. If we hop over to Reddit. It's a, it's a much different picture. There's Reddit's not really the place you go to for crypto. Twitter X is, is really the, the premier spot, Telegram, things like that, right? So don't expect a lot from Reddit, but there's really nothing here. It looks like Robert Mao is the moderator, again, the CEO founder. And I mean, we got memes here. I mean, I don't need to be memed for a project. Um, yeah. So not, not a whole lot happening here. I mean, there are some updates at least, but it, it, nothing really stood out on Reddit either. Switching gears over to CoinMarketCap. This is where things kind of got interesting for me. I, I was already kind of questioning what was going on over there um, on their socials and whatnot. But this, this just, this is a, it's an absolutely impressive chart. I'll, I'll give it that. But what was going on? Why did this jump off? I, I've been trying to figure it out. They, they have been working, like I mentioned, on the AI Genie, which is out. Um, I think it even works with ChatGPT4 now. And really, we saw a lot of the market start turning up in September, well, end of September, October, and starting to go straight up. So this kind of fits that pattern. AI was pumping a little bit before this, so I don't know if, if, if that maybe was just delayed here or what, but I do think AI is a lot of the reason that ArcBlock is moving up. In fact, I think it's probably uh, by and far the reason that it's moving up. When you get into it here, uh, as of recording the video, it's just under $4 at $3.99, $3.99. 
Market cap of 393 million, ranked 177 on coin market cap. We got a volume of 3.3 million, which isn't terrible. The circulating supply is 98 million uh, 554,305. Total supply 186 million. Now this is where things get interesting. I don't know what the max supply is, so I don't know if this is actually going to be inflationary or not. And I, to be honest, I could not find much on tokenomics here. And we'll get into that in just a second. Fully diluted market cap of 742 million though. So I, I did pull a few things up after this. And just to give you guys the full chart before we go there, it did start out at about a buck 27. Now we're at $4. But I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it was about 20 cents or did a, a 20 X here. So it was about 20 cents at the beginning of the year. And we are sitting at $4 right now, which is, really easy math. It's a, it's a 20 X right there. So that I, I can't deny that if you guys were in this, you made money and I won't say that you won't make money in the future because you definitely might AI is crazy right now. And it is, uh, if you guys are in the coattails of it, like perhaps this, this, uh, cryptocurrency is, then you've made a ton of money and that is a very good move. So looking at just its performance here, I was trying to figure out what's going on with this thing. It started out in 2018 ICO'd, I believe in February, uh, which we'll get into that later. We had some pretty good downward action here for quite a while. We hit the 2020 bull market, and this is from CryptoRank.io, by the way. 2020 bull market, kind of, 2021, excuse me, kind of gave it a little bit of a bump here, 80% up, 30% up here, kind of lost that right after. But overall, decent little run here. If you got in at the right time, 111% uh, in March, and then obviously as we went through the year, we got a little bit lower. Uh, 2022, mostly red. Had about a 48% run up there. That was pretty pretty nuts for that, I guess. 47% uh, again. And honestly, just pretty flat for a long time until, like we mentioned, October, November of last year, 2023. Then we started seeing 11, 16, 116, 78%, 411%, so on and so forth. 21, 85%, or 81.5%. A little bit easier to view that in quarters down here. Yeah much, much easier, 774% up, 114% up, 181% up. So those were some three just fantastic quarters for Arc Block, which is, like I said, undeniable. If you were in it, you made some money and that's that's fantastic. But I'm still trying to figure out what's going on. So circulating supply isn't changing at all, right? We, we saw that, uh, it's at 98.55 million. I, I took this from Masari, by the way. However, it did start out when it launched with 186 million cir circulating supply which does match up with the roughly right over here, total supply, 186 million it matches up pretty, as far as I can tell, pretty dead on. If I can get my mouse over there, uh, I don't know if these are rounded or not, but it should be that, that to me matches up. And then immediately after a few days later, we're down to 92.8, uh, 92.28 million. And then it actually bumps up. So I don't know what's going on there. And we'll look at ether scan here in a second. But really since 20, end of 2018, beginning of 2019, it stayed 98.55 million for circulating supply. So nothing, whatever's locked, that difference there of nearly 90 million uh, ABT tokens is still locked and it's been locked for several years. So I don't know if those are early investors. I don't know if that's just the team holding onto it. I don't know if it's a treasury. I have no idea, just no idea. I can't find anything about this. I can't find anything about tokenomics anywhere for that. And that worries me quite honestly. Hopping over to Etherscan here. We can go back if you guys want to see the rest um, in a second. I'll do that for you. But Etherscan, I got the pie chart up here. This is just a little more visualization for you to see. You got two giant token wallets here, uh, or two, two giant uh, wallets full of ABT tokens, 32% and 15%. And now they have not moved. They have clearly these were minted this way, uh, or, or the TGE put these in here no decimal places after stands out like a sore thumb, right? So we got both those wallets here, 32% and 15%. I don't know what these are about. Like I said, maybe they're treasury, maybe they're locked for investors. I have no clue. I really don't. The ICO, whoever ICO'd in it, it looked like it was about $45 million. Those from what I can tell were given a few days later. So people have been sitting on those for a while. So I really don't know what this is, but that's a huge amount. I mean, we're talking 47% uh, of the, the, project right there is sitting in whatever this is. It's not unusual for, for projects to do this, but to not have it listed, to not have any sort of mention of this kind of is suspicious to me. So take that for what you will. 
but but it's there and it's it's undeniable it's on chain right here uh, this data is not going to lie as you go down and we can see that it is um we do have the wallets of gate.io okx a few more htx here bitget so we do have the wallets of some exchanges on here and i mean there are some whales too not all these are exchanges but a few of them are but you can see that you got some pretty big whales here with it so they can manipulate the price pretty easily and that's assuming they're not all the same any of these could be somebody could have split their wallet in half that's a ton of work to figure out for me i'm, I'm not going to go and figure that out but they could have broken these wallets up to make it look like they're not whales trying to split their their thing up uh their, their hold up between several wallets to to be a little more uh hidden i suppose and hopping back to coin market cap just to show you guys where this thing's trading at we are looking at coinbase with 38.5 percent of the volume a little bit on uniswap actually gate.io uh, bitvavo i guess is how you say that looks like that's european and then hotcoin arcblock does have a white paper and it says a lot of things in it here or it's got a lot of words in it anyway but i don't know that it really has a lot of sustenance it, it the too long didn't read is crypto is hard to program we're going to make it easier for you. We're going to automate it. Yeah, throw some AI in there too, of course. Uh, but they're going to make it more friendly for the consumer here to just be able to hop in and, and build stuff or, or to get on board with. Uh, they do talk about their digital identity, all the things they kind of have done. So credit to them for that. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff in here about their architecture and technical things, but I'm not really technical and I don't program. So I'm not really sure how valid a lot of this stuff is. Uh, but to me, some of it felt a little gimmicky. Going down to the ArcBlock token here, they did not really give anything for tokenomics at all. They said, hey, we got we got the ABT token, here it is. And then they have this fancy little chart graph thing here, picture that, I, I don't know what, what does this even mean, to be honest? I don't know. They don't give you anything about it. They talk about miners, but they don't really say what miners do or how they work. Uh, I personally, to this day, don't know. Uh, the ERC 20 version of the token is exchangeable at a one-to-one -one rate for ABT tokens on the mainnet. So that's cool. That's fine. Um, there's a marketplace, but yeah, there's really just not much here. And that, that is a worry for me as well. I, I don't know what you guys think about this. Maybe I missed something. If you've read it, let me know because I would love to be wrong. Um, is that Algorand the reference? Yeah. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here. Check it out. Like I said, I'll try and link it down below in the description. Please read it. Give me your feedback on it. I'm okay being wrong, but I'm, I'm just not getting a great feeling about this. And I know white papers are kind of boring and dry, so who knows? Maybe I'm just, just having a bad day when I read it. And here's something else I found that was kind of interesting. So this is the ArcBlock website, of course. I go to the Blocklet store. And it's a little kind of challenging. I, I actually missed the, the button here where my mouse is circling. That's actually the store button. It's pretty small, but hey, whatever on that. Anyway, go into the store, opens up a new page here, and you actually can go through a bunch of these. They don't have a ton, but I mean, there, there's a good amount of, of things here, I guess, that they've, they've put out. Uh, we'll just click on one of them here. You can actually see how many downloads. So this one has had 20 downloads in 30 days, and you know I don't have a whole lot of data to compare this to, but but that's not a whole lot here, in my opinion. Um, let's look at one that's a little old, maybe the media kit, of course, media kit has 52 downloads. So, I mean, you're not seeing hundreds or thousands of downloads here. I mean, maybe thousands is a little bit too high, but I mean, two downloads on the NFT marketplace, the payment kit, we're seeing 95 downloads. I mean, we're getting a little bit better there, but it, it's still, still somewhat low, but I mean, a, a few of these are, are absolutely very, very small in their downloads. So, I mean, there, there's mixed success here in the store, but, you know, at least you see some downloads, but there, there's a lot of these that just don't have anything going on. And I have not seen anybody launch on, on Arc Block yet. So, I mean, that's that's something to you. The, the vast majority of these only have a couple. Uh, a lot of them only have two in the last 30 days. So, I encourage you guys to take a look at this too. Maybe you'll see something I didn't, you know, I don't, I don't claim to catch everything here but uh, just from what i'm looking at mine so let's see with minesweeper s2 in the last month so just a lot of these didn't have have many downloads on them the biggest i saw was under 100 and i think that was that 95 one that we just pulled up so make sure you check out the store keep an eye on that maybe if the store has increased downloads that might change my opinion on things a little bit and i see a little bit more community involvement here but as of right now i just don't see a whole lot going on uh, with what they've got developed 
Switching gears to the roadmap. This is one of the older roadmaps, one, probably the oldest I could find. And this was taken from their ICO page. There's actually a, a screenshot of this taken. Uh, 2017 to 2019 here, nothing really crazy that talks mostly about uh, some web clients, token selling, I, ICO, I suppose. Uh, Node.js, so it's so a little bit of programming here. And then I was able to find a 2024 roadmap here at their website, arcblock.io. It's under their blogs and their goals. I'll read them to you guys right now. Announce upcoming strategic partnerships throughout 2024. Maintain platform stability, performance, and security. Increase the quantity and quality of basic applications and blocklet. Develop a builder's community to help builders achieve more success. Invest and delegate time for high-ranked applications deployed on ArcBlock platform all while developing blockbuster applications. Promote revenue growth and share, and share sustainable, tangible returns with ecological partners. Okay. Um, I think these guys need a lesson in how to build a roadmap here, or they're just BSing us. So, so this worries me too a little bit. Now, uh, to their defense, you scroll down a little bit more and you kind of get a better outlook here. They give you a quarter one, quarter two. Talk about AI Genie. Um, marketing and education, sure, that's that's a, that's a necessity if you want your project to grow. It's essential for sure. Uh, hackathon, I think that's coming soon, actually. I did see, well, I saw some uh, a May bug finding event come, going on. Maybe that's not the hackathon, but they do have something going on here. Yeah, quarter four of 2024, scaling arc block with our builders conference. Um, okay, well, sure. These are great goals, but I don't think these are really roadmap items. I mean, tell us what's going on with the project. Where are you heading? What are you gonna be doing next? What's the next big goal? Or how are you gonna get there? How long is it gonna take? I mean, I, I don't really see anything here except we're gonna try and sell this even more. And that's great, but for a roadmap, and if you guys disagree with this, that's fine. But for a roadmap, I don't think this is that great. This is pretty weak. This is a lot of lot of stuffs written here. The closest we get is talking about some AI and booklets here, but I, I just I don't see I don't see a whole lot going on. So that's that's kind of a problem for me. And hopping over to the team here, I had some difficulty finding this actually. Uh, I found it at CryptoRank.io here. We've got Robert Mao, of course. We've seen him all over. Founder CEO of Flavian, Flavian Charlin here. A uh, couple other people, advisors. I don't know why we really care about advisor, advisors, but whatever. They're on here. Uh, I, I couldn't really find anybody else. I even pulled up this coinbureau.com article. Shout out to them. They have a picture of basically uh, two, uh, one of the one of the people here, but three of them I, I had not seen. Tier Chen, uh, Zhang Chen, and then Matt McKinney. I was able to pull up a couple of these guys on uh, LinkedIn. This is Robert Mao. I, yeah, I mean, it looks like it's a, clearly a real person here. I'll go to his um, his experiences here. So he's had a lot of jobs. Uh, let's see, ArcBlock from 2017, AIGini, that's all DID, that's it. So outside of ArcBlock, we've got a Forbes Council member, October 2022 excuse me, 2022 to current. Um, looks like a board member on some blockchain council. Those don't really mean a whole lot to me. Uh, Pixo Mobile. So he ran, he was co-founder and CEO of this company that was making mobile apps and services for what, as best I can tell, is like a, a social fi type thing here or, or a social app like Instagram or something. Um, something here in Seattle, Seattle Entrepreneurship Club. And they were actually worked at Microsoft for a few years. Looked like the Windows Phone 7 series, uh, Fuse Labs Research, and then a bunch of other random jobs you zone. Um, some of these were in China themselves. So he's hopped around quite a bit. Looks like he has been co-founder of a lot of things, CEO of a lot of things, which to me is a little worrisome, but to other people might not have any. I mean, maybe that's a good thing to you guys, but it, it is something to pay attention to. Going over to this tier, tier. Uh, let's see what was tier's name. Uh, tier Chen, I believe this is him. He's got ArcBlock in here. 
looks like he left in 2020. So a lot of these people that I had been able to find don't seem to work with the company. I did pull up, they had a, ArcBlock had a LinkedIn page itself, not much info on it, so I wasn't really impressed with that. I uh, actually did find Robert Mao's Twitter here, or X, and he has, he posts a lot, but I mean, nothing, I, I don't really, I'm not really into what he's, what he's posting, I guess. There's a lot of random posts here, a lot of uh, personal posts, which it's his own personal Twitter, so you can do that, or, or X. Um, let's see here. He did have a, his own website, robertmao.com. Now this was, this one was interesting to me. And, and uh, a lot of these have been turnoffs for me. If you guys couldn't tell he keeps, and, and it says it here on his Twitter too. Podcaster, newbie, blogger, 20 years. Okay. Serial entrepreneur, 20 plus years, two exits, founder of arc block, et cetera. Author of two books and many papers, patents. Yeah. He did have some patents filed. I saw that on uh, LinkedIn as well. So, of course, what's he do here? Robert Mao, builder, serial entrepreneur, occasional blogger. Likes to build new things. Okay, that's, I guess it's a personal website, so whatever. But it, this doesn't strike me as very uh, professional, I should say. It's more of a uh, look at me, come see who I am type thing. I'm kind of turned off by it, but don't don't let it sway you guys too much. Last couple things we're going to look at is YouTube and then the chart. And I, I put these two together because this, this was kind of suspicious to me. I saw several, and, and a lot of these you can just attribute to ArcBlock was pumping so people jumped on. But basically all, minus the ArcBlock's actual YouTube page, which by the way is very, I think unprofessional. I think they could do a lot better at it. It's, it's mostly Robert, who I believe is from China. So he's probably speaking English as a second or even third language, which is very impressive in itself but presenting some of the products and not really not really doing a whole lot with them and also not just, it just wasn't very professional. It's very hard to follow, very hard to understand. Uh, no news, no updates like that. Just a couple of simple things using AI Genie, uh, which honestly felt like he was using ChatGPT4 to just do a few things. So I don't even know if that program actually works. I'm, I'm really kind of speculating on that, to be honest. Uh, and if, that's, if that thing is not real, then this whole project is... Uh, I'd be careful. So anyway, um, looking back though, a lot of these are just price prediction videos. There's really nothing saying, hey, here's what ArcBlock is, or here's why I like ArcBlock so much. It's just like, hey, here's the price. It's gonna go up, you should buy. So basically people just shilling. And it makes me wonder when I see this much percentage wise of a project, just people saying buy, 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 it makes me wonder if they were paid or given ABT tokens, same difference in my opinion, uh, to promote the product, which, wouldn't be surprising in crypto. That happens very, very often. Uh, a lot of these also, actually, there's a few of me right there. A lot of these came, and I don't have them pulled up right now. You guys can can fact check me on this one. But a lot of these came three to four, five, six months ago when the token actually started pumping too. Right, right in this range here, end of the year, February to October range is, is where I saw a few of them start to kind of pop up. But, you know, that could just be coincidence. It does have AI attached to it. AI was pumping. People find, they, they research, they dig it. They, they, they find something that, that shows AI and crypto. Everybody gets on board. It goes to the moon. So that could have been what happened here. Or or maybe there was some shilling being done. I can't prove that. It's just weird. It, it kind of it stands out to me as something funny. My, my gut says something's up there. But I could be wrong. I've been wrong before and I'll be wrong again. I promise that. If we pull just from October here, I did want to show you guys this. This is undeniable, 5,215% up, and that's not a perfect pull. I could probably even get that better if I cherry picked it, but that is no doubt an impressive run here. My only question is, is it is it, is it real? Is it people shilling? Is it whales manipulating the price? What's going on? I don't know. I just don't feel like there's a whole lot of sustenance behind ArcBlock, and I hate to say that, However, if you got in the project, you made a ton of money. If you sold, you certainly made that money. If you haven't, well, I hope you still make that money. And that's real, no denying that at all. So what's gonna happen in the future here? Well, I don't know. We did just hit an all-time high. Every time we've hit an all-time high, let's just see what the pullbacks were here, just, just for fun. So here to here, roughly 34%. And these, these aren't gonna be perfect, guys, 41%. Oh, right down there, about 48%. That was a pretty big one there. 
Um, what was this guy here? So 28%, so anywhere from 40 to 28, we'll call that 50 to 30%, let's just call it 40% in, in average. So if that played out over here, we could see ArcBlock coming down to under $3. Wouldn't surprise me to be honest. Um, I could I could even see a fifty percent pullback if the markets go south, and that's if the well the trend continues. If if this thing keeps moving, if it keeps riding the coattails of AI, and heck, maybe this is a really great project and I'm just not seeing it. Um, maybe they come out with something and and they start to have a little bit more going on for them. Um, like I said, I I didn't get in there. I didn't build anything with this. I'm not technical like that, but it, it just felt like something was missing. So. 50% correction here would take us down to, if we went that far, below 250. So 250 to $3 seems reasonable for me for a correction here. Doesn't mean it's gonna happen by any means, but that, that could be a decent range to probably get in on this token if it continues its trend. If it starts going down beyond that, I, I don't know what's gonna happen. I can't predict the future. I don't know if Bitcoin's gonna crash, but if it does, if the markets crash in general, all these altcoins, any altcoin you're looking at is probably gonna go to the downside quite a bit. Uh, and those are honestly, looking back, those are probably gonna be the best buying opportunities that you've seen for anything. So could you make money with this? Yeah. Are there some suspicious things with the project to me? Yeah, the team's a little uh, anonymous, I'll say. Uh, their history isn't that great. I, I didn't see a whole lot of experience. There were a few other team members I looked at, but it just, I didn't wanna make the video that much longer. Uh, the tokenomics missing is strange. The white paper was a little weak. The roadmap was just, I, I can't believe that was an actual roadmap, but uh, it seemed more marketing ploy than, than anything else. Uh, if AI Genie is actually a really good project, then great. But if it's just using chat GPT-4 or chat GPT-3.5, whatever it is to, to do all the work behind the scenes and, and we're just getting fooled, that's a big problem for me. Um, the wallets, uh, I, I pulled those up earlier, but th these wallets here of 32 and 15% totaling nearly half the project is very worrisome to me. I have no idea what that is. I have no idea if that's the team, if they're gonna if they're gonna sell at some point or what. Um, just, just a lot of things made me scratch my head about this one, but what was undeniable is their price action. So I don't know guys on this one, I would be careful. I'm not gonna invest in it. That's my final verdict here. If you're in it, then great. If you've made money, Awesome, please take some profits uh, as always so that you do have something on the table for later. Um, you know, not financial advice, of course, use your own strategy, but for this one, I feel like it could be a little bit, um, something might be going on on the sidelines here and I'm, I'm just not sure yet. It's gonna take a little bit more work. When or if I find anything about out about this project, if my opinion changes, I'll definitely let you guys know. For right now, it's a no-go for me. But if you're in it, like I said, I wish you the best of luck and you'll probably make money to be honest. AI is gonna keep on pumping, Nvidia is gonna keep on going and as long as Nvidia keeps on going and other AI tech too, you're gonna see ArcBlock move up probably into the top 100 potentially. Uh, that's my guess. I don't know how long it'll stay there, but it's a little too risky for me. I like to be pretty confident in what I'm buying and I just couldn't get there with this project. So there you guys have it. Uh, too long didn't watch, ArcBlock's not really for me. I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. I can't really find much on the roadmap of, of any sustenance. Uh, the white paper is a little clunky. Not that it's bad, but a little bit, a little bit stretched for me. Uh, I just can't find a whole lot of information on them. I can't find a whole lot of information on the team. Got some weird feelings about that. Now that doesn't mean that this project is bad or that it's not developing behind the scenes, but it's just not for me. Uh, in fact, I actually think this is going to ride the coattails of AI here for quite some time because I think AI is probably going to move for a little bit here and you can probably make some money on ArcBlock. But for me, too many, uh, we'll call them red flags, I guess, too many red flags and uh, it's just not something I'm personally going to invest in. But if you guys are in it, awesome. I hope you make a bunch of money. You probably will, uh, especially if you've been in it already. You've made a lot of money. It's, it's very clear on the charts. You can't deny that. So uh, that's all I got for the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up. If you want more content like this, hit that subscribe button right next to it. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next one.